Rachel Zegler is a star on the rise. The Snow White star will not only be part of a classic 2024 Disney release but is also set to star in a beloved franchise. Hollywood has made their plans for the future very clear. They plan to milk every iconic IP until there is nothing left. Hunger Games is one of the franchises that will be making a comeback soon. However, they will do a prequel instead of a reboot or a remake. The star of these prequels will be none other than Rachel Zegler. She will take over from Jennifer Lawrence, the first woman ever to star in an action movie. Zegler certainly will have big shoes to fill. On a more serious note, an actual high expectation comes with this latest release. While I never fully got into the Hunger Games, millions of people worldwide did. The box office numbers do not lie. It certainly was a worldwide phenomenon. Unfortunately, the franchise is already off to a rough start, and the film is not even released yet. All the controversy has nothing to do with the film, however, but who they chose to cast. In defense of The Hunger Games, there was no reason they could have known when they made their casting decision. Rachel Zegler is currently getting the Brie Larson treatment. While some controversy surrounding her is unfair, other criticism is much more just. From day one, fans were upset with Rachel Zegler being cast as Snow White. I blame Disney and the media more for this controversy than Zegler herself. The moment she was cast, the press immediately jumped at the opportunity to point out that she was not white. The media's focus on her skin color reeled up the fanbase, who felt like they were being mocked. Naturally, they pushed back. If she were cast without the coverage, the blowback from fans would have been far less. Granted, there still would have been outrage, but most hate would have been directed toward Disney. This brings me to the second guilty party, Disney. From the start, it was clear that they had no intention of making a true live-action adaptation of this iconic classic. They dropped the seven dwarfs from the title and publicly stated that they did not want to cast dwarfs because it was offensive. It should be noted that little people did not find it offensive. However, crazy people on Twitter and TikTok were offended on their behalf, which was enough. However, like with any Hollywood casting, the lead did not take long to start with the typical pandering. Hollywood has a long history of pandering and talking about how stunning and brave they are. It has always been effective because of a culture of celebrity worship. This is particularly true within America as they are the hub of worldwide entertainment. These people build statues of celebrities, thousands of people follow them around wherever they go, they influence politics, and the list goes on. Anyone would develop a god complex if they were treated that way. There is some responsibility that we, as the audience, also need to take. It is worth pointing out that not everyone is guilty of doing this. So if the shoe fits, put it on. However, when you look at everything, it cannot be ignored that Zegler said some controversial stuff. I will be honest, I had no idea that they were planning on doing more Hunger Games movies. I only found out about the prequels a few weeks ago and had no idea there were already posters and an October release date. Maybe it is due to the ongoing strike, but I had no idea. The Hunger Games prequels were always going to be controversial. Hollywood does not have the best reputation for staying true to the original work, and while the original writer worked closely on this project, the concerns remain. Some have concerns about these new movies and how they might affect the existing story. Many fear they will change the prequel, leaving the original completely useless. Others, of course, are more optimistic. Hunger Games recently released some posters online, and some fans are already quick to judge. The poster that is receiving the most backlash right now is that of Rachel Zegler. In all honesty, I do not think that it looks bad at all. It seems primarily normal, and the costume design is on pair for the times. However, we all know the actual outrage is not due to the poster. Most fans are lashing out because they do not like Zegler. Fans do not like the comments she made in the past and are using this as an opportunity to voice their frustration. This is why it is so important to watch what you say. You always need to be careful, and you cannot go after the people that you expect to come and watch your movies. The internet has a long memory, and they are not always forgiving. It only takes a few bad comments for people to be turned off. It can take a lifetime to build up a reputation for yourself. However, it only takes one bad moment to ruin all of it. The internet can be an icy and unforgiving place. When Zegler made controversial comments about the film she is set to star in, she instantly became the internet's main villain. 
Many felt that she disrespected the story she was supposed to represent by calling Prince Charming creepy and stating that her movie would be nothing like the original. A lot over the years has been made about source material. Some feel that the original work should be left alone. Others think there is room to add to the story. While some believe you can retell it, it has to stay true to the original. However, for the majority, it is not as complicated. Most fans are fine if you change the source material. There are, of course, a few disclaimers. Firstly, if you want to add to the original work, you need to respect the original work. Often, those in charge of the remakes despise the original creator and their work. Secondly, if you are going to retell a story, you have to ensure it is good. If you follow these two rules, most people will be fine. I recently watched the newer Jumanji movies and thought that was a perfect example of how things should be done. It deviated quite a bit from the original but still respected the classic enough for people to be very happy with the end product. Even Disney has done things correctly in the past. Maleficent is a retelling of Sleeping Beauty, and I thought it was their best work ever. It will be interesting to see how the Hunger Games prequels far in present-day culture. While there used to be excitement over a classic IP returning for more, that effect is now long gone. There are currently more remakes in theaters than there are new IPs. No one wants to take chances anymore because of the large expectation from investors for studios to have forever growth. Companies like Disney and Warner Bros are expected to grow yearly, and with that expectation comes little risk. They cannot afford to create new IPs that might fail, so they resort to the classics. The Star Wars prequels failed to meet expectations. Lord of the Rings did not do much better with The Hobbit regarding audience opinion. However, they can be regarded as a commercial success. Sadly, the same cannot be said about The Rings of Power. Harry Potter tried their hand at prequels with Fantastic Beast, which ended equally badly. Let's see if Hunger Games can do it any better.